Hello everyone, this is a, another one in my series of Hornby 00 service uh, videos. Uh, today I want to discuss a little bit more about magnets and this might be of interest to people who have uh, purchased my uh, my my magnetizer there. Now here we are. this is uh, my phone and on there I have found an app not on the phone but on the internet I found an app that I can download onto the phone that's uh, that can work as a magnetometer now, I think these are, are normally uh, normally used by people who are chasing ghosts some for some reason ghosts must have a uh, magnetic field I believe anyway I haven't found any with this but uh, just to demonstrate how this works here we have a loco and uh, as you can see this is very sensitive so to keep it at a at a, a known distance from the magnet and so we get repeat readings I got a little piece of uh, wood here with uh, with some sponge on it to protect the paintwork now all you need to do is put it on there like that and you can see the reading increase as it goes along and you see here we go 1500, 1400, 1003, 1000 so the maximum reading on that was I think about 1500 there we go almost 1500 I know that's a very low reading because uh, because I've already measured quite a few and put an average reading down on the back of my piece of wood I've got all the different uh, all the different uh, locos and and the readings that uh, there should be for a good for a good magnet and for my 062 I should have a reading around 10,000 or more so let me uh, just give it a quick zap on the, uh, the magnetizer Oh, that should do it. Now put the body back on. You can't uh, measure it without the body on very well. And then we'll put the spacer back there. And uh, there we go. We start again. And here we go, we got uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10,000, 11,000. You've got 11,000 there. So now I know that that's, uh, that's a good magnet. And you can check your locos very easily using this, uh, this app. This is for... Um, Android phones, but uh, I'm, I think they they make them for iPhones as well. Uh, this one's called a three-axis three-axis magnetic field monitor, and it's auto ranging, or you can choose choose whichever range there is. I I hope you can see the the readings on there. Okay, that's that. Now I have also got a little uh, uh, piece of test track I've made here. Now this is uh, if you don't have a rolling road or uh, or you or you you're out on the road like I do sometimes repairing or testing locos. It's just a piece of uh, track. It has the brass rails on there, which just a little bit better wearing than the the steel rails. I have a little tiny block of wood glued on over the over the middle rail, and then a couple of crocodile clips 
because I can clip this onto my uh, onto my my layout and use it also and then another couple of crocodile clips that are connected to a Hornby 00 um, battery uh, controller now I use the power source from my magnetizer and I just can uh, I just plug it in and connected a little plug to the uh, battery controller and uh, it's also connected up to to an amp meter I uh, don't know if you can let me see them figures too well let's try that yeah okay so there we go I can put the the loco on there and there you go you don't need to run it at uh, high speed because it makes little difference to the to the amperage of what speed you run so you can just run it at sort of a medium speed and uh, you can see the advantage of having something like that right there uh, you can do it in reverse also now if you listen to that uh, that is kind of a gruffy noise there that's um, that usually shows that there's a bit of wear in this top bearing and, and you get uh, you get that noise often when you um, put stronger magnets in or remagnetize it you could because the magnetism is stronger and it's shaking the uh, the, the comm commutator around a bit there and the bearings rattling so I've found a way to reduce that noise because sometimes this is not so bad sometimes it gets really annoying and even if you put uh, uh, neo magnets on this that also uh, does the same but uh, that actually dis starts destroying your bearing the neo magnets do so you shouldn't really use them or not this so what I'm doing here I'm, go I'm going to force out the pole piece if I can get this behind it it's a little bit awkward trying to show you on the camera so I'm going to Force that away from the and open the gap up. The same here. Be careful. Oops, maybe a bit too much, but uh, okay. Now, uh, now I haven't changed any of the settings on the. Uh, And you can see straight away it's it's a lot quieter it uh, is drawing a bit more amps because I think I pulled them a little bit too far away from the uh, from the pole pieces but it's it's easy to find a happy medium where the noise is uh, is not annoying and you don't have that rattling because that rattling is also gonna damage your bearing and uh, and the amps is low enough I mean the amps is it's not bad as it is. So there you have, and then uh, in, per, in forward it still works there. That's it. Knocking noise that's just on the wheels. This is a good way to check your wheels are running true and. Lots of other things you can do on this setup, but if you if you can see down there, see how big I got the gap. That might be just a little bit, little bit too too big. The, the gap between the uh, in the motor there. Okay, now the the, you, the purpose of this piece of wood here is so I can I can test the uh, the diesels because they have. Uh, they have rubber tyres on and you couldn't let them skid very well on there, it just wouldn't work very well. So what I do is the uh, 
powered bogey with the rubber wheels on goes on top of the goes up on the on the wood that holds the wheels off the rails and the pickups are on the track so you just need to place that like that and then you can run your your diesels just like that Now this little uh, this little piece of track here will run all the all the Hornby Double O locos in the same manner, and I've even got something like this I used to use before before, and this one is uh, it does the same as the wooden block for your for your diesels, and it just fits in the track like that, and you can put your your diesel on top of that and run it but uh, I use this on my on my layout so I'm not chasing the uh, the, the diesels around the layout I can just uh, put it anywhere I like and wherever I'm working to uh, to work on it so the diesels are not running away okay now this is uh, keep the noise down a little bit because they do rattle around a bit sometimes I've put some spongy bits on the bottom and wires are just soldered on and like I said before you can uh, you can just clip these onto any power source or even onto your uh, on, onto your track onto your layout track and then you'll be able to use your regular controller so I hope this video has helped you, thank you very much.